Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm not uh, sharing my whiteboard, so I'm not writing stuff. But this is, was an important concept that I thought, okay, I should come and say it. I didn't have time to create something as no or so. It's okay. I think sometimes it's okay to show my face and come online. So, question is, the, the net list that you get, the database that you get during synthesis. You need to figure out whether that database or whether that net list is optimum or not. That's the decision you need to make. So, physical design at this point start with gate level synthesis. Then you have to do floor plan. Floor plan is not an optimization, it's like placing things that correctly. Most of the latest uh, physical aware tools you kind of instead of doing later on, you can do ahead of time. But okay, let's talk about traditional stage. You need a net list for a floor plan. So what I'm saying is you need to create a net list. For floor plan, you don't need to create an optimized net list. All you want a gate level net list. You can read it into the floor plan. So that's fine. So for floor plan, what you want to do is you just do a quick synthesis. Uh, decent constraints or not, it's okay. As long as you have some net list, fine for floor plan. So let's give the floor plan aside. Floor plan and synthesis, they will work back and forth. Uh, you need to have a better floor plan, you feed that floor plan into synthesis. By the way, I'm talking about the synthesis, which is physical, um, uh, physical away. If you are initially doing just without physical, or all you want is just give it a max area, and you just want to have a net list and then do more optimization in during placement and routing, that is fine. But what, what I learned is that this the synthesis output synthesis netlist is your seed is your starting point um, if your starting point is good and you do good um, optimization and replacement routing then i feel on a lot of blocks i found that much more useful as opposed to starting with crappy database and then later on uh, relying purely on the placement and routing. Keep that one thing in mind, okay, sometimes these tools change and this discussion is not about fusion compiler or design compiler, but typically synthesis is the one where your tool will be doing a lot of logic optimization. Um, because it has an RTL, it has the technology independent GTAG, now it's just, it has all those Boolean equations and it can do a lot of those logic optimization decisions, simple boolean things, all those theorems and everything that later on during placement that placer will focus on a better refined placement. Of course it's going to do optimization, it, it will uh, change the drive strength for example, it will help you pick the right sort of cell there, then the relative location between different cells, that it will take care of. But a lot of uh, structural optimization or logic optimization or a circuit level optimization synthesis will do a better job. So you really want to give as complete picture with physical aware everything um, and you want to optimize each um, clock domain, especially the critical pass in each clock domain. You want to optimize them in such a good way that later on during placement, yes, you can do placement related optimization. Uh, later on during routing, you can do routing related optimization. But that original file that you get from the necklace that you get from Synthesis Tool, that is really good. That has very especially the critical path, it has covered all kind of possible optimization. So, but at the same time, here's another second thing. You don't want to spend like too long on synthesis. Because what if on your design, you take that decent synthesis, take it to placement routing and actually place a router are able to do a much better job. So, always a good strategy, this is why I'm creating this video. What works for one block may not work for another block. A generic skeleton flow, even if it's very customized for your project, may not be the right choice for your block. Um, optimization within a block is important, but at the same time, correlation between different stages is also important. As you get down the line, you have an extra placement, you have extra routing, your analysis becomes more and more accurate.
right? So you can stay in synthesis for weeks and up to more than to the best possible, um, but you have a schedule today, right? You don't have unlimited time in the world. So here is the strategy that worked for me and I strongly recommend that. Uh, of course, spend a little bit decent time understanding your design and um, netlist and then the netlist analysis. Analysis is key. You don't want to skip that. Okay. Uh, you don't want to just do a um, guess iterations. That would just waste too much of CPU time and disk space and all kind of things and you will have too many databases to deal with. The iteration is super important but doing a necessary iteration is even more important. So what I would do is spend a you know, reasonable time on optimizing um, your design as synthesis. Once you feel you have a little decent necklace, you run a separate, build a separate area and take that necklace through placement, sign up placement, routing and all that. Because that once it's drained, it will show you how your synthesis result, which let's say starting at something, how do they improve and how, what are these things, how you check, especially on timing, I will discuss later on. But uh, okay, now after placement with the default flow, does it improve? How much it improves? After placement, how much improves? It could be that what you have after synthesis is actually, even though it was bad, but placer and router are able to recover that. In that case, it's fine. You don't want to waste more time on synthesis. And while it's running, you can optimize synthesis more. Maybe your block um, is running very high frequency, it has stuff to close, uh, terminal parts, and those parts you need to spend more time. But if you feel like placer and routing are not going to recover that, you definitely need to reduce the delay, um, or, uh, sorry, the constraint. You need to improve those constraints as synthesis level a lot more. So this, this tip is super important. Attrition, controlling attrition, deciding when to move to the next stage or not, that's always something you need to make a decision on. And I can only give you some generic recommendation, but how it works on actually on your blog, it really depends on you and you have to make that decision. Okay, hopefully that video was useful for you.